Hi team, Eileen here with Industrial Bar and Ride along with Steve. And we're gonna lead you through a 60 minute full body workout. Three things before we start. A yoga mat, good idea to have or a carpeted floor. Something to act as your bar, perhaps that's a couch or a chair or a counter and an optional set of weights. We're gonna use weights today, but you can take them or leave them at will. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started, let's get started, all right. All right, team, stand with your feet hip width apart in parallel. Place your hands on your waist, throw your shoulders back and down. Find a strong back and a really strong core. Fill your lungs through your nose. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. All right, here we go. Place your hands on your waist, shoulders back and down one more time. Lift your knees at a left, left. Lift your knees just to hip height. Use your strong core. Exhale. Maintain a really strong spine, okay? Shoulders back and down. Lift your chin. Put a smile on your face because you're gonna have some fun. This next 60 minutes, raise your arms up overhead and begin to pull down, down. Strong sweeping motion with your arms, warming up your shoulders. Open your chest, squeeze your back. And again, can't say it enough. Strong spine, strong core. Exhale, lengthen your toe, lengthen your leg a little bit further forward. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg. Exhale, exhale. 10 more, one. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Find your mat. Forearm plank, elbows right under your shoulders. One or two fists with your hands. You can take this on your knees or on your toes. Dual your upper back, pull your belly in tight. Squeeze your seat, level your hips. If you're on your toes, squeeze the front of your legs. Rock forward, exhale, exhale. Strong exhale. If you're holding this pose with the strength of every muscle fiber. Lift the back of your head in line with your spine and breathe. Exhale, hold that strong form. 20 counts. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Keep holding. One, keep breathing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release your knees to the floor. Come into a puppy dog stretch. Stack your hips right over your knees. Press your chest to the floor. Shift back, open your knees wide, flip your palms, child's pose. Bring your hips to your heels. And then spring forward, sweep your feet in front of you. Take your weights if you're using them. Place them to the side to start. Bend the back of your legs, feet are hip width apart in parallel. Open your chest, roll your shoulders back and down. Bend forward at your waist and then hinge back. Take a breath, exhale. You want to cinch your core in really tight here. Open your chest, lengthen your spine, strengthen your low back. Extend your hands to the side, pick up your weights if you're using them, flip your palms up. Your arms are at a 45 degree angle. Shoulders back and down, strong chest, full range curl. Weight to your shoulder and then extend. Exhale. Sit your core in tight. Try to eliminate any rockering of your torso. Use the strength of your bicep to bring the weight to your shoulder and then lengthen with the same amount of control. Keep the contraction in the front of your arm. Bend and extend. You'll have a slight bend of your elbow right at the bottom of your range. Bring your elbows away from your rib cage. Four more. One, two, three. Hold the strength in your core. You can drop your weights, reset. Clean the back of your legs, shoulders back and down. Exhale, exhale. Keep the tightness in your core. Come back into that bicep position. Flip your palms, shoulders back and down, strong back. Add a little curl, curl, curl. Not just a bend of the elbow, it's a contraction of the front of the arm, your biceps. And curl, squeeze, squeeze. Match the contraction in the front of your arm with your core. Pull your belly in, in, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reset, keep your core tight, clean the back of your legs, elbows up, shoulders down, shake it out just a little bit. We're gonna hold that strong position, pick up your weights one more time if you're using them. This time, straighten your arms all the way and then draw your elbows back. Squeeze your back, press your shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, squeeze your shoulders really tightly, hold them right here, add a little press. Press back, back, back. Still in your core, still in your back, open chest, strong back. Exhale, exhale. Using your strong lat muscles to create this movement. 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the contraction, drop your weights, reset, shake it out. All right, a couple more variations. 
You're gonna pick up your weights one more time. Draw your elbows way back, just like they were, but this time full range. Press your hands forward and back. Push and pull. Heavy feet, shift back a little bit more. Challenge your core, bend forward at your waist. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest. Draw your elbows back, they'll graze your torso as they pull back. Use your strong back to make this movement. Four more here, one, two, three, and then release. Bend the back of your legs, roll back, point your toes to the sky and curl, curl, exhale. Still in your core, still in your core. Use your strong arms to bring your chest up higher. Look up at your toes, raise your gaze. Keep your chin off of your collarbone. Use your core to create the movement. Only one variation. Go ahead, challenge yourself. Let go, reach for your toes for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have 10 more here. One, two, breathing three, contract four, higher five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Roll back, hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a little reset. You're gonna rock and roll forward. Find your push-up position. And again, just like a plank, you can take these on your knees. If you do, bring your heels to your seat. Dome your upper back, hands on your shoulders, fingers turned in slightly, soft elbows. If you take this on your toes, grip the front of your legs. Push-ups team, nice and simple, nice and easy. You've got 20 full range. Press down and up, push and pull. Press, press. Bend your elbows straight back. Keep the back of your head in line with your spine. You're going to 20. I'm gonna count that as, oh, eight, down, nine, keep pressing. You have 10 more. Push one, strong core. Two, exhale. Three, push the floor away from you. Four, keep going. Five, you're almost there. Six, only three more. One, two, and release. Your knees to the floor. Puppy dog stretch one more time. Walk your hands forward. Bring your chest to the floor. Stack your hips right over your knees. And then shift back. Take your child's pose one more time. All right, team. Go ahead and dive forward. Downward dog. Uncurl. Well, bend your, um, bend your legs. Bend one knee. Bend the other. Walk your fingertips toward your toes and then slowly roll up one vertebra at a time to a standing position. With or without weights, we're going to go into triceps. See, so face me. All right, so stand with your feet width apart in parallel, and then bend forward. Feet as if on train tracks. You're gonna bend forward, right at your hip crease and lengthen your back, pull your belly in tight. Extend your arms long, draw your shoulder blades up to the ceiling. Lengthen your arms and raise your weights. Add a lift and hold. Squeeze and hold. Push the wood number tight end of the weight up to the ceiling. If you're not using weights, that's just fine. It's gonna be just as challenging. Lengthen your arm all the way. Focus on the squeeze between your elbow and your shoulder. Expand your chest, raise your weights higher. Lift and hold, lift and hold. For strong form, you have soft knees, untuck your seat and a really long back. Speed it up, lift, 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 squeeze, squeeze. Final 20, one, two, three, go for length, four, high, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, final 10, long arms, one, a little higher, two, squeeze three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the position, just lower your hands or your weights. Keep your knees soft and your back long. I'm gonna turn toward the camera so you can see what we're doing here. Now bend your elbows, it's like you're holding a large beach ball. Draw your elbows up to shoulder height. Feel the strength right between your shoulder blades, those are your rhomboids. Keep your knees soft and that long back. We're gonna start out full range. Lower down and up. Lift. So the crook of your elbow, the palms of your hands toward the floor. This movement, powered by your strong back. Arms are just long for the ride. Pull your shoulder blades down your back using your lats. Lift. Exhale. Feel the expansion in your chest as you draw your elbows up. Four more and then hold high. One. Two, three, hold it at the top, add a little lift, lift. Just 10 here, team, to finish. And that is one, two, squeeze three, four, tiny movement, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Stand tall, press your weights overhead, or your, just your hands, and then bend your arms behind your head. Bend your arms 
place your hands behind your head, elbows to the sky. You can get that one right out. All right, team, go ahead and release your weights. Find your spot at your bar, or perhaps your couch or your counter for a stretch. You're gonna face your platform. What do we gonna call it, Steve? We're gonna call it a bar. From here on out, we're gonna call it a bar. Whatever you're using, it's a bar in our book. Stand a full leg distance away from that, and then prop your left heel on it. Straight top leg, square your hips out, okay? I'm gonna pull your left hip back in line with your right. Raise your arms over high, big in breath. Now when you exhale, fold forward right at your hip crease. Focus on the length on the top leg. Try to lengthen it. Press the back of your knee in toward the floor. Your hands can land wherever, your thigh, your shin, your bar. Bring your chest closer to your thigh with an exhale. Welcome the length in your hamstring and your seat and your lower back. And gently walk up to a standing position. Pivot your bottom foot a quarter turn and then sweep your bar foot forward. Reach your room side arm up. Flip your ball away from you. Bring your arm to your ears. And then find a little side body stretch. Place your other hand inside of your ankle out of rotation. Raise your gaze and your chest to the sky. On your exhale, rotate your shoulder down. Bring chest to thigh. Focus on the squareness of your hips, the stretch in the back of your leg, your inner thigh as well. Now stay low, pivot right back to your beginning position. Your square to the bar once more, soft standing knee. Increase the stretch in your hamstring. Walk your hand up your strong leg. You can place your hands on your waist or over head. Just grip the top leg and with control, lift and lower it up and off the bar and change sides. Opposite heel on the bar. Again, square your hips, straight legs, arms overhead with an in-breath. Relax your shoulders and then hinge forward. Ease into it, breathe into it. Press your knee toward the floor, square your hips. Where you land in a stretch is not where you should stay. Calibrate it. When you're ready, walk your hand up your strong leg. Pivot your bottom foot, sweep your bar foot forward. It's gonna land about a foot, foot and a half in front of your hip. Reach your room side arm long. Flip your palm, bring your arm to your ear, rotate your shoulder back and reach. As if you wanna reach your finger to the storage of toes. Use your breath. On your exhale, rotate your shoulder down. Hands on your thigh, your shin, or on the bar. Stay low, pivot right back to your beginning position. Your square once more to the bar. Soft standing knee, strong top leg. Walk your hand up your leg. Place your hands on your waist or over a head without rocking. With control, lift and lower your leg up and then off of the bar and release. All right, team, we're gonna move on to a little bit of thigh work. Stand on profile. First, we're gonna do some heel lifts. So, feet are hip width apart and parallel. Light hand on the bar, straight, straight, strong legs. Come up onto the ball mount of your feet. Lift your heels high. Stack your head right over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips. Squeeze the front of your legs. We're gonna lower our heels. Lower down and up. Lower and left. All right. A little prep work right before thigh work. Warming up our calf muscles. Strengthening, tightening up the front of our legs. Feel the length in your hamstring. Pull your belly in tight. Lower and left. Lower and left. Four more and then we'll speed it up. That is one, two, three, speed it up. Press down and up, up. For this last variation, you are welcome to raise one arm up overhead, or both, or not. For 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have 10 more, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a release. Press your left heel back, bend your right knee right over your ankle. Going into a calf stretch. Press your heels firm to the floor and keep your legs or your feet as if they're on train tracks. Keep them parallel. Release and change sides. Feel that deep stretch in the opposite leg. Bend your knee right over your ankle, kind of rotate your hips forward. And then release. Let's get to work. The real work, thigh work, the best part of class, some might argue. Hardest part of class, perhaps. I don't know. There's always C. Stand facing your bar. Place your feet up with a part in parallel. Come up onto the ball mount of your feet one more time. If your heels are high. You should be able to wiggle your toes just a little bit. If you can't, lower your heels just a hair. Shift your shoulders over your hips and then bend your knees forward. 
Nothing else changes. Your knees bend, your shoulders stay right over your hips, your belly, your core stays really strong. Roll your shoulders back and down. Light hands on the bar. Put more work in the core. Come down a little bit lower. We're gonna start out with a full range of motion. Make it really big. Here we go. Press up and down. Extend and then bend. Try to lift your chin. Find a focal point. Look straight ahead. Open your chest. Relax your shoulders. Bend your knees forward. Keep your heels high. All right, team. Relax your seat. Okay. It's your first set of three, and you have four more in this variation. That is one, two, three. Hold it low. Press up and down. Bring it up an inch and then down an inch. Up and then down. Keep that movement going. Scan your body. Scan your form. Heels high. Strong core. Open your chest. Press down an inch and then up. Start to feel the heat building in the front of your leg. If that becomes your dominant focus, try to transfer a little bit of the heat into the hamstrings. Think about the back of your leg and your inner thigh. They're all working together. Four more here. Press down one. Press down two. Press down three. Now hold it low at a press. Press. This is your last variation in your first set of three. If you'd like, you can raise your left arm overhead. Change halfway through for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Final 10. Switch hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release your heels to the floor. All right, back on profile. Zip everything tight. Bring your feet together, your inner thighs. Squeeze super tight. Take a quarter turn toward your bar and then bend your knees. Place your hands in prayer. Palms together, thumbs at your sternum, elbows up. Shift your shoulders down your back. Use your strong back. Squeeze your inner thighs, bend your knees. Shift back. Long spine from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Squeeze. Now come down a little bit lower. Just like in our first variation, our first set. We're gonna start out, start out in full range. You ready, Steve? Here we go. Bring it up and then down. Squeeze up, squeeze down. Inner thighs the entire time. Now lighten your toes, shift a little bit of weight. Back a little bit. Try to bring your seat low. You're sitting down into a chair that just isn't there. It just gets a little bit lower. Gets a little smaller each time. Power up, power down. Big breath in, exhale. Exhale, don't forget that squeeze. Four more. One. Two, three, hold it at the bottom, hold it here, and press down an inch, and then off, and down, and up. That squeeze is active between your inner thighs. Keep your elbows up and your shoulders down. A little press up, a little press down. Same amount of tension, both directions. Lighten your toes, shift back, come down lower. Lengthen your spine, untuck your seat. Four more here. That is one, two, three, Stay with me, hold it right here. Hold that depth. Now add a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Resist the temptation of lengthening your leg. Pull your belly in tight, stay low. Come down lower and back. You've got 20 squeezes if you'd like. You can extend your arms in line with your ears. Hold that depth. Here we go, this is 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, maybe lower, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Nice work, guys. Moving on to our final set. Bring your feet all the way together. This time, open up the balls of your feet about two inches. Bring your heels high. Bend your knees to the side. We're going into diamond. That means you need to squeeze your heels super tight. Flare your knees to the side, and bend your knees and come down low. Release your seat. Strong core, open chest. Just like our first variations. We're gonna start out full range. Here we go. Bring it up and down. Bend your knees deeply, deeply. And then power up. Resist the temptation to lock your legs at the top. Lock your knees, don't do it. Soft bend right at the top. One strong movement. Two more variations after this and you are done with arguably the hardest part of class. Again, four more. One, two, three. Hold it low. Press down an inch and then up. Down and up. 
Second to your last variation. We are almost there. Breathe. Press down and up. Down an inch, up an inch. It's super small. Come down just a little bit lower. You can. Four more here. And then you're on to your final variation. That's one, two, three. Hold it right here, team. Now out of flare, flare, flare. You made it. This is your last variation. And quite possibly, like Steve and I, you're starting to shake a little bit. Hold on to it. Don't let it go. For your last variation, you have the option to raise your room side hand, your opposite hand, not only onto the bar, and flare, flare for your final 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Nicely done. Holy moly. Face your bar and claim your left foot with your left hand. Bend your right knee and add a tuck. Open your chest. Go into your quad stretch. Take a deep breath. Change sides. Feel that stretch in the front of your leg. Now release it. Come down to your right knee and bring your left foot forward. We're going to move right into a stretch. Strike your knee over your ankle. Slide your hands wide and open your chest. Take an in breath. All right, team. Now, if you'd like, you can come into a crescent lunge by curling your back toe under. Lift your back knee off the floor. Find straightness in that leg. Square your hips out, sink low. Wherever you're at, that's the right stretch for you. Raise your left arm, match with your right, and then lower. Open your chest, open your gaze, relax your shoulders. Straighten that back leg, press your heels straight back if you're in the crescent line. Bring your hands to the bar, lower your knee. Shift your hips up and back and straighten your front leg. Square your hips out, bend forward at your hips. Bring your chest close to your thigh. If you'd like more, walk your hands to the floor. You can keep them there, or you can walk your hands over too, or keep your hands over that. You can slide your back leg toward the back of the room and come to a full split. Stay low, take in a breath. Open your chest, square your hips out. If you took that advanced option, come back into your half split. Bring your left hand over, meet the right. Sweep your leg behind you, tuck it under. And simply change sides. Step your opposite forward, foot forward. Knee is right over your ankle. Slide your hands wide, open your chest in breath. Feel that expansion. Crescent lunge if you did on this side or the other side. Curl your toe under, straighten your leg. Sink low, square your hips out. Raise your left arm, match with your right. Relax your shoulders, open your gaze, arch your lower back. Bring your hands back to the bar. Lower your knee if you took that option. Shift your hips up and back. Straighten your front leg all the way. Square your hips out. And again, your hands can travel down to the floor if you like. You can hang out just like this, or you can advance into that split if you did on the other side. Just nice and easy. Squared hips, open chest. Take an in breath. Awesome time to catch your breath. If you took that advanced option, come back into your half split. Bring your right hand to meet your left. Sweep your leg behind you. And then tuck both toes under and press into a downward dog. Soften your knees. Walk your fingertips toward your toes. And then very slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Whew, nice work. All right, team, we're going to work and in, go into a little seat work now. And what we're going to do is fold over. So you want to stay Stand facing your bar, feet over the part in parallel, about an arm's distance. Keep your knees soft and fold forward, right at your hip crease. Your head is essentially going to be in line with your bar, your chair, or your counter. Now walk back until your arms are long. Your hips are going to land right over your ankles, right over your feet. Untuck your seat, keep your knees soft, and then extend your left foot behind you. Keep your right knee bent. Square your hips out. You want your left hip in line with your right. Pull your belly in tight. Now use your upper back, draw your shoulder blades down your back, light hands on the bar. Use your strong seat. Grip your left glute, grip your right glute too, and then raise your leg in line with your head. Shoot your leg long, squeeze the front of your leg. For your first variation, we'll start out full range. Here we go, lower your toe down and off. Lower and left. Exhale, keep your standing knees soft. Grip the right glute tightly, that'll help stabilize your position. Shock your leg really, really long. Grip the front of your leg. Squeeze your seat to create the movement, okay? A little lower and left. Strong core, contracted core supports your low back throughout the movement. Contracted back supports your shoulders. Should be very, very little weight in your hands. Okay, four more. Squeeze one. 
two, three. Hold it at the top. Three, square your hips if you need to. Straighten your leg even more. Out of lift. Lift up and down. Lift and lower. Squeeze. Squeeze your seat to create the tiniest movement. Maybe half an inch, maybe an inch in range. If you're feeling tension in your shoulders, engage your upper back. Lift the back of your head and lengthen your spine. Keep that long line from the crown of your head to your toe. Lift four more times. Lift one. Lift two. You have one more variation after this. Three. And I want you to hold it right here. Hold it long. Make it small. Lift. Lift. This is your final variation on this side of fold over. Stay with me, team. Keep it long. Keep it high. 20 more. Exhale, one. Squeeze two. Level hips, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel it, two. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And release. Kind of wiggle it out a little bit. Wiggle it out. Stand up tall. We're going to go right to the other side. Feet hip width apart and parallel. Fold forward. This time, extend your right leg long. Your left knee is soft. Your left glute is gripped. Hips are level. Abs pulled in. Shock your leg long. Lift it high. Remember, contract your back. Relax your shoulders. Lift the back of your head. We're going to start out full range. Lower down and up. Lower. Squeeze and lift. One long lever. Try to eliminate any bend in your leg. Give it a strong glute. Use it. Lift and lower. Shift your weight over your standing foot. Soften your standing knee. And keep that glute grip so you don't sink into your hip joint. Four more here. Lift one. Lift two. Three. Stay committed to the length. Hold it high. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Second to your last variation. Perhaps re-square your hips. If your hips starting to open up, you might have a tendency to do that. Bring it down, bring it level. Four more lifts. Lift one. Squeeze two. Squeeze three. Now stay with me. Keep it long. And lift, lift, lift. Final variation. You have 20 more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Let's take a pull away stretch. Essentially, keep your feet in that same footprint. Bend your knees and lower your hands to the floor. Keep your knees soft. You're gonna straighten one leg and turn to one bent knee side. Doesn't matter which side you start with. Take an in breath, welcome in that length, and then get the other side. Bend your opposite knee, straighten the other leg. Walk your hands to that knee. When you come back to center, very slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Whew, nice work, guys. We're going to finish seat work on the floor. Find your mat and come down to a kneeling position. Hands under your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. We're going to continue in a fold over exercise, however, just a different form. Here we go. We're going to start with the left cheek first. So extend your left leg long. Put a little more weight into your right hand. Tuck your hips, lengthen your low back. To bend your leg in half, flex your foot. And then bring your knee up to your hip. If you'd like, at any time, you can come down to your forearms. One or two fists with your hands. Elbows right under your shoulders with a dome strong upper back. All right. I'm going to start with my hands. Keep that bend in your leg. Guess what we're going to do, Steve? Full range. With a strong exhale, draw your knee into your chest and extend. Keep the right angle of the leg. Flex your foot. Press. Pull in. Exhale. Exhale when you draw your knee in. Try to maintain the right angle of your leg. Powering this movement with your glute. You'll feel this in your hamstrings for sure. Keep a soft bend to your elbow. Lift the back of your head and line your spine. Push. Pull in and push. Four more. One. Two. Three. Hold it at the top, and a lift and hold. Lift and hold. Now fight to keep your knee up in line with your hip. And again, you might find the dolphin pose here on your elbows makes it just a little more accessible. Press up and hold. Squeeze. Squeeze and hold. Flex your foot, bring your heel to your seat. Tuck your hips just a little bit. Bring your hips toward your low ribs. Press and hold, four more. Push one. Push two. 
three. Hold that height. Flex your foot, bring your heel in, and push. Press, press, exhale. Last variation. You have 20 here. Bring your knee up a little higher. Squeeze your seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lower your knees. Let's take a quick child's pose. Shift your seat back to your heels. Ooh. Walk your hands over to the right. Put more weight into your left seat and your side body. Feel that deep stretch. All right, team, come back to center. Dive forward. We're going to get the other side. Pop right up into your tabletop position. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Extend your right leg long this time. Dome your upper back, soft elbows. Tuck your hips, shift back so your hip is right over your knee. Bend your leg in half, flex your foot. Lift your knee in line with your hips. Square your hips, okay? Lower your right hip in line with your left. Full range, draw your knee in and push. Push, exhale, power through. Big movement. Feel the squeeze of your seat right at the top of that movement. Put a little bit more weight into your right hand. Distribute your weight. Push, pull, and push. Four more. Exhale, one, two, three. Hold it at the top. Press and hold. Push. Press and hold. Good time to check your form. Level your hips. Pull your belly in tight and dome your upper back. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale with every press. Option to come down to your elbows. You make the movement just a little more accessible to get your knee a little higher. Push and hold. Press. You're sailing right toward your last variation. You are almost done, so stay with me. Close your eyes, turn inward and focus. Four more. Push one, two, three. Hold it high. Bend your leg, bring your heel to your seat. Speed it up. Last variation. It's a press. Press. Flex your foot firmly. Stamp your foot straight up. Exhale with every press. 20 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Final 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And release. Nice work, guys. Lower your knees. Take another child's pose. Open your knees wide. Woo. All righty. Walk your hands over to the right this time. More weight into your left seat or the other side, whichever side you work last. Doesn't matter. We're going to get both sides. And then release. All right, team. Nice seat work. How are you feeling, Steve? <laughs> All right. Super feet in front of you. Find your mat. Lengthwise, extend your legs long and raise your arms overhead. And then fold forward and exhale. Get a little extra stretch in here for your hamstrings. Untuck your seat, bring your chest to your thigh, exhale. Nose to your knee. All right. And now we're gonna go into round back. So just scoot your seat forward, come down to your elbows, bend your knees in half, feet hip width apart and parallel, heavy on the floor. Tuck your hips forward, bow your belly in and open your chest, squeeze your back. All right, team, here we go. You're gonna extend your left leg, point your toes to the sky. Flex your foot firmly. Feel a stretch in your hamstring. Draw your knee in toward your chest even more. Hold it here, bend your leg in half, and then extend, bend, extend. Maintain the flex foot, or you can relax it if you'd like. Whatever feels good. The flex foot will just lend a little bit more stretch and length in the back of your leg and your hip. See, and press, lengthen, and bend, press. Find strength in your upper back. Avoid sinking into your shoulders. Four more. Exhale, one. Squeeze your quad, two. Straight your leg, three. Lock in that length, and press. Press, a little tiny bend stretch of your leg. Micro bend in the knee. Heel straight up to the sky. Open your chest. Exhale, exhale. 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold that length. Squeeze the front of your leg as tight as you can. Press your right foot heavy to the floor. Still working. Draw your leg in, in. Exhale, 
exhale. For a more challenge, if you need it, you can hover your bottom leg long. You can even lift your fingertips, reach them towards your toes. You have 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Give yourself a little bit of a hug, just a little bit of a hug, and then go ahead and roll up. Let's switch sides. Extend your opposite leg long, flex your quad, squeeze it. Rotate your knee toward your shoulder. Your left foot is heavy to the floor. Open your chest, squeeze your back, flex your foot. Bend your leg, bend, extend, extend, exhale. So you're working the front of your leg. A sneaky extra set of thigh. Try to keep your knee right over your hip. Find maximum extension, squeeze the front of your leg, lengthen your hamstring, four more here. Keep the flex, one, keep the open chest, two, stay out of your shoulders, three, strong exhale, lengthen and press, press. Second to your last variation and round back. Squeezing the front of your leg, draw your leg in even closer. 10 here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hold that length draw your leg in final variation you made it you know you have that option extend your bottom leg long perhaps lift your elbows if your shoulders don't move draw your leg in and exhale final ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release hug your knees to your chest give yourself a little bit of a reprieve in breath, exhale, rock on up, cross your legs, place your hands behind your hips, long spine, open chest, lift your hips, press your knees to the floor, and welcome a stretch in your hip flexor. Big in breath, lower your seat, twist over to the left, look over your shoulder, and then get the other side. All right, nice work so far. How are we feeling, Steve? Ready for a little curl work? pretty excited about it. I am too. Let's find our mat. Lie all the way flat, make a long line right down the center of your mat. Come on, C. Come on, C. Ho. Oh. All right, cross your arms over your chest. You can place your hands behind your head. More importantly, cross your left ankle over your right. Squeeze your thighs tight. Squeeze your seat and kind of tuck it under. Pull your belly in really, really tightly. Lift your shoulder blades up off the floor. Elbows to the side. If you have your hands behind your head, look straight up. Chin off of your collarbone. Exhale. Squeeze your core as tight as you can. Come up really high. We're going to start out full range. Lower your shoulders down and up. Curl. Curl. Lower. Squeeze and contract. Moving right into curl work. Here we go. Find your breath. Exhale. Belly button. Aim it toward your spine. Keep the contraction when you lower your shoulders. Resist the temptation to relax your core. Keep it tight all the way through. Four more. Curl one. Curl two. Three. On this next one, hold it at your highest point and squeeze, squeeze. Tiny contraction, very, very small movement. Massive contraction, actually. You'll feel it. Try to keep your shoulders high. You have 10 here. Squeeze your thighs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Bend your legs in half and aim your left toes to the sky. Right foot heavy on the floor. Bend the back of your left leg, curl up to your high point. Strong arms to start, transfer it into your core, and begin to curl. Curl and hold. Release a little tension off the back of your leg. Right, lighten your hands. Use your core to create the movement. Exhale. If you like, you can reach your fingertips toward your toes. You have 10 curls. Curl two. Squeeze three. Reach four. Make it just a little tighter five. And then a little higher six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Hold it at the top. Reclaim your leg. Speed it up. Curl. Curl. For the second variation here, you can extend your bottom leg long if you like. Relax your feet. Maybe, maybe as you curl, reach for your bottom toes. Four, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, reclaim your left leg, and then rock up into a seated position. Feet heavy to the floor, raise your arms up over high. And then when you exhale, hinge back, right off your tailbone. Curl forward at your belly and open your chest and lengthen your back. This is a high curl, we did this during warm up. It should feel familiar. Reclaim your legs, elbows up, shoulders down. Exhale, open your chest. All right. Extend your hands forward. Working on the left side, going into your left obliques. Draw your elbow back and add a little pull, pull, pull. Actions right at your belly button. Everything above the belly button is just along for the ride. Okay, 10 more here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come back to center for a quick reset. One more variation. Shake it out, but keep the core tight. Extend your hands forward, draw your left elbow back. We're gonna take this full range. Center and pull. Extend. It's a strong twist. Now, if you notice you're taking your hip with your elbow, keep your hips solid and square with your opposite hip. It's gonna deepen the contraction in your obliques. Deepen it further with a strong exhale. Exhale. Four more. Magic number four. One, two, three, and then come back to center. Reclaim your legs. Now we're gonna do everything in reverse. Shoulders back and down. Extend your hands forward. This time, draw your right elbow back. Keep it tight, make it small. Exhale. Exhale, exhale, little twist, little twist. Keep your hips square. Exhale, 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come back to center. Here we go, shoulders back and down. Extend your hands forward. Keep your chest lift, your spine long. Come out of your lower back. Draw your right elbow back, full range. Bring it center and pull. Exhale. Square your hips, deep exhale, deep contraction. Push, twist. Four more times. One, two, three. Come back to center, reclaim your legs. Now I want you to claim just your right leg and roll back. Point your right toes to the sky, keep your left foot heavy. Begin to curl and hold, curl and hold. Here we are, we're on the other side. We're on your right side. Hold on to your leg, bring your shoulders a little bit higher, but then transfer the work into your core. You can let go, you can reach for your top toes. 10 curls. Curl one, curl two, reach up. Three, make it really tight. Four, it's a strong exhale. Five, you're almost there. Six, keep your leg long. Seven, eight, nine. Reclaim your legs, speed up the curl, keep the contraction, just make it a little too faster, a little more compact. Again, you have the option to extend your bottom leg long. You have the option to reach for your bottom or your top toes. You decide. You have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Extend your leg long, cross your left ankle over your right. Again, squeeze your thighs, tuck your seat under, arms over your chest, your hands behind your head. Contract your core to bring your shoulder blades really high. Take this full range, curl back, curl forward, back and forward. Strong exhale at the top of the movement. Knit your ribs together, plunge your belly button down and in. This is your last variation. Oh, you have one more variation. Maybe even perhaps one more set. I haven't decided yet, I'm like that. Four more, curl one. Squeeze two, keep the tension. Three, hold it at the top, don't relax, tighten even tighter. And curl, 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 small compact curl. Right at the top of your range. All right, here we go team. We'll have 10 more on this side. That is one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Hug your knees to your chest and point your toes to the sky. Use the strength of your core one more time. You got the hands behind your legs. There you go, Steve. Point your toes to the sky, come up a little bit higher, and extend your hands forward. Just cover them off the floor. It's a strong exhale, and you're going to press, 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 and push, push, push. Exhale, 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 exhale. Curl a little higher. Lengthen your legs. Now you can always bend your legs in half if you'd like to release tension off the front of your legs. 
use your breath. Exhale, 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 exhale. If you like, you can use one hand behind your head for support. Keep that other hand working. Heavy pressure, a heavy spring underneath that. Shift your toes forward for a little more challenge. Bring your chest up even higher. You have 40 more and you are done. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Final ten. Higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. Hug your knees to your chest. Take a big in breath. Woo. All right, kind of wiggle around a little bit. Keep your knees close to your chest. Place your hands behind your head. And then shift your knees off to the left. A little side body stretch. You can look over your opposite shoulder if you like. Bring your knees back to center. And then very gently off to the other side. Big in breath, exhale. Come back to center. And I want you to rock and roll forward onto your belly. Extend your legs long behind you, and then reach your fingertips in front of you. Pull your belly up, press your hips down, and then lengthen your legs all the way. We're coming into a right into a back extension. Shoot your legs, your arms long, shoot your legs long, reach. Breathe into it. And then exhale and stretch. One more time, take a big deep inhale, holding the hover, holding the strength. When you exhale, stretch your body like toffee. Toes from fingers, fingers from toes. One more time, breathe into that length. And then exhale and stretch. Relax and melt into the floor. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows to your side. We're gonna adopt a baby cobra. Use the strength of your upper back and peel your torso up off of the floor, look straight ahead. Now if you'd like, you can lay your hands off the floor. Anchor your feet heavy, anchor your hips. Take it in breath, expand your chest. And then exhale, lower down. All right, team, shift up and back. Take a child's pose. Open your knees wide. Bring your hips to your heels. You can wiggle around, make it yours. If you like, you can walk your hands down by your feet, palms up, or your hands on your low back. Take a breath. Breathe into your upper back, feel that stretch. And then release. We're gonna transition into a little bit of back dancing. So come out of your stretch, sweep your feet forward and lie flat on your back. Feet are hip width apart and parallel. Lie all the way flat. All right, and by feet being hip width apart and parallel, I mean the feet are only about four inches apart. Squeeze your seat, lift your hips right up off of the floor. Keep your upper and mid back heavy into the floor. Kind of curl your hips up. And now, at a tuck. Squeeze, tuck, tuck. So you're right at the top of your range, squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings to create that little tuck, that little movement. Try to relax your shoulders and relax your neck. Extend your fingertips toward your heels and back. Pull your belly in really, really tight. A little tuck, tuck, tuck. Keep going. Stay with me. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Now we're gonna make this movement just a little bigger. We're gonna go full range on my count. 10 more here. That's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Full range. Down and up. Tap and tuck. Tuck. Squeeze. Squeeze. Tight core. Exhale. Feet hip with apart and parallel. Now you can keep your feet flat. Contraction, or you can walk your feet forward. Flex your feet. Get your heels to the floor. Point your toes straight up. It's tuck and tap. Tuck, tap, tuck and tap. Hold at the top. A little tuck. Tuck, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Microscopic movement. Try to relax your shoulders again. Scan your body. Little tuck, 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 tuck. Tighter and tighter, smaller and smaller. You'll start to feel this in your hamstrings if you walk your feet further forward. Keep your hips high. Keep tucking. Little tuck, tuck, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Full range team is down and up. Tap, tuck, tap, tuck, tuck. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep going. Tuck, tuck. Exhale, exhale. Stay with me. Right to the end. We're almost there. Tuck, 
chop and tuck, chop and tuck. Squeeze. Just a little tighter, a little higher. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it at the top, tiny tucks, little squeeze, 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 squeeze. We're gonna hold it here. This is our last variation. We're gonna take it right to the end of the song. Keep going. Little tuck, 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 tuck. It could come soon. It could come later. <laughs> Just stay in it. All right. There's never such, never such a thing as too many tucks, guys. So just keep going. A little squeeze, 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 squeeze. And there you go. Lower your seat. Hug your knees to your chest. And gently rock side to side. Take a big deep in breath. We made it. We made it all the way to the end. And now we get to reward ourselves with a wee bit of a stretch. Gently rock side to side. When you are ready, come back to center and lower your feet to the floor. Cross your left eye over your right. Draw your knees to your chest. Claim your ankles or your shins. Flex your feet. And bring your ankles in line with your knees. Straight long line, ankle to ankle. It's a whale tail stretch. You're gonna stretch your glutes up, press your tailbone to the floor, and bring your heels toward your shoulder with an exhale. Keep your upper back and your head connected to the mat and to the floor. And breathe into the stretch. And when you're getting ready, go ahead and switch sides. Right over left this time, ankles. Right in line with your knees. Flex your feet, bring your ankles toward your shoulders, tailbone to the floor, in breath. Welcome in the length and your hamstrings, your seat, your lower back. Release the stretch. Extend your body long. Arms overhead, legs really, really long. Squeeze the top of your legs. Anchor your lower half and roll on up. I just changed the music with my heel. <sighs> Keep folding forward. There we go. <laughs> you can cut that one out. It's what? All right. Keep breathing. All right, team. Come on, to the straddle stretch. Keep your legs in front of you. Bring them wide. You can flex your feet or you can point your toes, whatever feels good to you. Place your hands right behind your hips and lengthen your back. Lengthen your spine. Bend your elbows behind you. Press your chest forward. Take it in breath. And then fold forward just a little bit at your hip crease. You're going to welcome the length of your hip flexors, your inner thighs, and your low back in your seat. Now walk your hands forward just a little bit. Take it in breath. And then exhale. Walk your hands a little further forward. Welcome to stretching your inner thighs. That's really good. Maintain a straight back, a flat straight back, and an open chest. Walk your hands forward just a little bit more. And then on your in-breath, come to a strong seat position. Bend your left leg in half. Place your hand inside of your right ankle. Reach your left arm up overhead. Flip your palm to the sky. Bring your arm to your ear. Rotate your shoulder back. And then, again, think about reaching your fingertips toward your toes. It's a rotation. It's an in-breath. Exhale and stretch. And then rotate your shoulder down. Bring your chest to your thigh, your nose to your knee. If you can capture your foot, that's great. If not, chin, knee, thigh. Fine. And then come back up to a seated position and change legs. Bend your right leg in half and then reach your arm up. Flip your palm away from you. Bring your arm to your ear. Add the rotation and the little gentle twist with an exhale. Reach for your toes with your opposite hand. And then exhale, rotate your shoulder down. Chest to thigh, nose to knee. And then come on up. All right, team, cross your legs. We made it to the very end. To the very end, just one or two breaths together to tie it up and make it nice and tidy. Take an in-breath, fill your belly, through your nose first, breathe in. And let that breath travel into your lungs and shoot up through the crown of your head. Exhale, let it all out. This time, flip your palms, raise your arms up overhead when you take that in-breath. Expand your chest, lengthen your spine. Keep that strength and length right there. Bring your hands together and then lower them right in front of your heart space. So on your exhale. And just like that, another one in the books. Check that box. Thank you very much for joining us today, team. Hope to see you soon.